All right, welcome back. Well, the 4th of July is right around the corner, and that means a lot of celebrations will be happening over the next few days. But today, we want to make sure you're safe while you're celebrating, especially when it comes to fireworks. Dr. Holland Solano is an ER specialist at Princeton Baptist Medical. She joins us now live with some examples of what you will be using at home and ways to stay safe while using them. So, doctor, tell us what we got here and uh, I guess kind of walk us through the intensity, if you will, of each of these products we have here in front of us. So we brought some of the most common types of fireworks that are available at home. The first thing you should know is you should only use small consumer fireworks at home. Okay. Never use any M-class fireworks. They're produced illegally. There's no quality control. And they cause severe injuries. And that's the ones you see like in a fireworks show. Correct. Okay. Um, so the first ones we have are sparklers. Okay. These are your classic sparkler that's lit from the end. Um, the most important things about sparklers is they can be more dangerous than you think. They burn at about 2,000 degrees. They can quickly ignite clothing and they can fall into children's feet. So small kids shouldn't be handling them, but older kids can. They have these that are slightly longer mm -hmm. that hold farther away from the body in order to prevent some of those injuries. Um, so whenever you light these, you should be holding them away from you kind of like this while it burns. Especially from your face and hair. Correct. Right. Um, the next thing we have, are, these are bottle rockets. These are also extremely common. And um, kids and adolescents are known to have bottle rocket wars with these, but that can be extremely dangerous, causing a lot of eye injuries um, and chest trauma. So these are typically lit from a bottle. It's attached to a small fuse. So it needs to be in a stable surface. Mm -hmm. You never should point them at anyone. So those wars should not be happening. No bottle rocket wars. And anyone who's gonna use bottle rockets, everyone needs protective eyewear, okay. just to make sure that you're not hurting yourself. Okay. Um, and then this is a bigger one, more similar to an aerial firework or something like a mortar tube. Okay. All the aerial fireworks should be on a flat, stable surface, and they should be held down with something heavy like a cinder block to keep them from falling over. Um, the problem is if they fall over sideways, they can launch at bystanders, oh, causing goodness. severe injuries. So I know we only have about 30 or so seconds left over. You're an ER doctor, and you're telling us very specific instructions on how to use all of these safely. I know we don't want to gross people out because it is lunchtime, but what are some of the injuries you've seen when people aren't using these correctly? So the biggest injuries are burns, um, either from where you're standing too close, you're not at a safe distance, and it launches onto you, and hand injuries where people are holding oh my goodness. Um, fireworks that are going off in their hands, and you can cause amputations and other severe hand injuries. So oh it's gosh. very important not to light anything in your hand. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys heard it. That was really quick reminders of how to use these things. but. You can always call and ask if you do have any questions or ask the people at the stores that you're, you're buying these from, yes, correct? Yes, and they all have instructions, safety instructions on the packaging. Follow the instructions. You don't want to have to see this doctor this week or any other doctors if you can. We want to have a safe and exciting holiday weekend, right? Yes. All right, well, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate those reminders.